Coronavirus concerns as state health officials monitor a possible case right here in Maryland. Tonight we are waiting for the test results of a patient who was showing signs of the potentially deadly illness. Now, so far, there's more than 5,300 cases worldwide. More than 130 of them have been deadly. The alarming new numbers come as federal health officials now expand screening. WJZ is live tonight. Kelsey Kushner with the concerns from health officials. Kelsey. Well, Rick, health officials say that patient, a Maryland resident, is waiting for those test results to get back, but says they showed symptoms that met the criteria for getting tested. It's the first scare of the coronavirus right here in Maryland. The State Department of Health confirmed one patient, a Maryland resident, met the criteria to be tested for the potentially deadly virus. This is a person who had flu-like symptoms as well as having had a travel history um, in, in the last uh, week or so. So we went ahead and submitted that specimen to the federal government last night. The outbreak started in Wuhan, China and has quickly spread to 18 countries, but the CDC says not to panic. Americans should know that this is a potentially very serious public health threat. But at this point, Americans should not worry for their own safety. Still, concern grows across the U.S. More than 100 people have been tested in 26 states and at least five cases confirmed. Screening for the virus has expanded to 20 U.S. airports. And that's what we're going to be doing here, identifying ill travelers returning from China so that we can make sure that they're appropriately treated so that they don't pass on this illness to others. The CDC issued its strongest travel warning, urging Americans to cancel all non-essential trips to China. Although Maryland has no confirmed case, health officials are still taking it seriously. Right we still are at a low level of concern about this particular virus. But again, let me stress, this is the time of year where viruses are circulating very, very common cold, influenza. So the steps that we take to protect ourselves now would be the same steps that we would take in specific for this coronavirus. Health experts say they went ahead and conducted those tests on that patient here in Maryland. They say they are expecting to get those results back within the next couple of days. Reporting live tonight, Kelsey Kushner for WJC.